Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town playthrough. This is part one to Trick or Trap, our third Halloween event of 2020. Well, it's uh, it's the third Halloween event for this game, but it's in the year 2020. You're getting the picture. Uh, Grim's back. Grim O'Ken. You know, the usual stuff. However, <clears throat> before we continue, you probably are now seeing the new artwork here. This is uh, the official artwork of Banner, and I just wanted to take a moment to actually appreciate this magnificent drawing. I don't know who they got to do this, but it has been well done. I mean, I just look at it and appreciate it. Look at all of its worth. I should also mention something I forgot in part zero, is that when the game officially came out, uh, the title card was missing. It kind of looked like this, the basic Goosebumps Horror Town. Now, they did make a Trick or Trap logo in the game, but I decided to go ahead and kind of... Basically, this was me making this again, but not as bad as, say, the, um... That one event that just passed, the, uh... You know which one, the... The internet one? <laughs> yeah, that one. But, um, I still had to jerry-rig it to make it look a bit more official, so you're welcome for that. But yeah, we're gonna be going into part zero, uh, one, and, uh, looking at my, uh, review of this, uh, back in October when it first came out. And, uh, oh boy, I didn't say a whole lot in part zero, uh, because I figured part one will give you all you need to know about my first reactions, and I'll come back in to kind of talk to you more about that once we get into our first dialogue. But, um, I will, however, come back to talk about the, uh, collection per se, but, uh, it won't be for long. Anyways, let's have past me in October find out exactly how I reacted to this being a thing. So, uh, let's see what he has to say. It's a spooky month. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just turn this down a little bit. Yeah, so we got our first update, which is the Trick or Trap update, but it's namely featuring our favorite uh, Skeleton Curly and crew. Now, I knew about this was coming around, and I'm very intrigued to see what will happen. The title screen looks really epic as far as design goes. I don't know why there's no title here, I'm hoping that's an error, but we'll have to wait and see. I also know a few things, and, uh, oh, okay, so there's the title right there. All right, um, before I go ahead, oh, okay, let me just, let me just pretend as if we, let's pretend we didn't see this. I've seen people having, and I believe this is an iOS issue, apparently, um, there were some errors where people were getting the haunted school instead of this events look so i don't know why what that's going on here but uh yeah there's that um anyways let's look at here so we have this huge 19 oh my god we have this 19 full looking um area here oh my god so we have oh no why why is Curly unique? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, God. I'm going to hate to say this. Uh, damn, it's only for a week, too. Look. So, I know right around now, Curly is going to have very much unique animations. A lot of animations. And they're planning on adding more to him for the next updates. So, it seems like you can only get him through this bundle now. I think there might be another one with him only exclusive. But it seems like these are all the characters we have. So, Drool seems to be our walk-around character that is... I'm going to see if it's obtainable. We have Skelly's Altar, so she's another one. And then we got, like, Boo and Nightshade, who, for some reason... Are like 35 and 500. Why are they costing this much money? Like, I'm hoping they're not needed because that's kind of stupid if they are. But okay. All right, so we have Curly's reading chair. All right. The treat machine looks interesting. Gummy bears. 
this drool bone that uh i love i love the fact that the currency is the hand from the trick or trap um icon and uh apparently i overheard they actually um added a new book and it's the haunted halloween i had no idea these mad lads were going to be able to do that but i'm curious to see when that pops and what that's going to be all about but uh Yep, there he is. There's our boy. Trick or trap. Trick or wait a minute. Curly? Is that you? Join Horror Town's most famous skeleton on his seek for scares. Will he be able to fit in the monster community beneath the shade of his sisters? Find out on this epic bone chilling Halloween story. Alright, that's cool. 28 days. So that gives us. I have to count. I have to find out. I have to, during my um, crafting 101, I'm going to have to figure out exactly when this is ending and if this prize is going to be worth it and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, usual stuff. 28 days, so it doesn't seem like that's bad. We got our boy drool. Good boy drool. Seems like they're reusing some candy, candy stuff. Play animations, craft new items, play a new scene. And I'm assuming that one character on the right there, that is Lillian. 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 From, I'm sorry, I had to do it like that because... Uh, Rugrats. <laughs> Lillian. Anyways. Right, okay. Uh, Junk Bro Commercial Office. Yes, this is our first time we're getting Sonny back. And he is going to be important because he is going to be a main feature of the character. Now, before we move on to the next part here, I'm going to quickly show you what the, um, like right now you're probably going to be seeing what it looks like if you're new to the game, how much stuff is there. I'm hoping this will work here. So it gives you a good look and all that type of stuff. Hello, I'm back again. Uh, it won't be real quick, but basically I just wanted to make it seem less awkward with uh, showing you the... Um, the the uh, footage with no dialogue because this is taken from the other area here but I wanted to show you everything because quite frankly uh, this update <laughs> it's interesting because they're gonna be changing a whole lot of stuff so uh, yeah I get excited for that but uh, you get the gist of how everything looks about here and uh, right yeah Anyways, I'm going to bring it back to my uh, previous self, so uh, enjoy. Yeah, so I'm going to assume you saw that, so now we're just going to go ahead and uh, look at the other stuff here. So we got Junk Bros, uh, some still Halloween stuff from last time. Got the Gummy Bears. Got him again. All good. All good. Oh boy, we got all these people back. Hold on. I didn't want to go through them. Great, so we got these characters back. We got all the old Halloween stuff back. Oh, look at this. The Halloween pumpkin. Interesting. So we get this back. All right, I'm on, I'm curious of... Um, you probably saw how much it cost for free, but I'm curious to see... <laughs> okay. They're bringing back Trigger and Cuddles, and they've redid their, uh... Man, I have to look at them real close to see exactly what they did here. But it seems like they did some rework for them. So, yeah, so we got the Treat Machine. Every six hours, drop some bones. We got our boy, Drool. Seems like he drops... Oh, okay, that's interesting. We got Skelly's Altar, which 75% drop. Oh, so it's 100% drop for that. And 100% drop for that. Yeah, it better be 100% if I'm paying for this. Curly's reading chair, which I'm assuming we'll need for Curly anyways. Jacko home. Oh, so it just... Wait, it adds... A, it adds somebody? Really? Okay, I'm curious when I put that down who they're going to add into the game. If it's some rando skeleton or something. That would be interesting. Jacko crow. Hmm, kind of clumps close to a name, I know, but, uh, you know, fellow Jacko. Uh, Halloween Street Lamp, interesting. Oh, the Haunted Jacko. 
Um, so this is interesting, the Haunted Jacko. I'm not sure if you can put more than one. But, um, oh no, the alarm's going off! <sighs> I forgot. Sorry. So, I'm not sure if this is going to be something um, we can put another one in. I'm only wondering if it is a unique, but we're going to find out. This isn't one of those upgrade items. So, again, we'll see what it looks like altogether. But if you're remembering how the um, haunted Christmas tree was back in our first Christmas event, which is the attack of the the attack of the Christmas presents, then you would probably be more familiar with uh, this kind of layout. We've been having it for a bit, but it seems like this one's going to be more of that. Lost Cemetery, which we got again. Haunted Scarecrow. And Pumpkin Piles, which we've seen again. Now then, the moment of truth. What's our grand prize? Oh my god. The Book of the Dead. Ooh, okay. That is a uh, Damn, that's that's scary. I'm wondering. Oh, and a hundred percent too. Hmm, seems a little worth it. But let's find out. Jules Treat have Sunny perform an animation to get this item. So it seems like Jules Treat will be easy. However, I'm feeling like Jules Treat will also be something required for the other items. So let's see this mystery box. You need to craft this in the treatery. We have the golden tooth. Okay. We need to play the haunted house scene to get this item. All right, or we're gonna have to look at that and see how well that plays out. The uh, so it seems like easy getting this might be easy. I'm not too sure. And then two items for the tree tree, but it seems like okay. So only two items we need to look at, which is the book and the box. So let's find out. All right, now we're done. Okay, now then, we're going to take a look into, um, oh, I see that they fixed uh, the book I was working on, so that's nice. Also, I noticed that, uh, yeah, some items have been popping in. That is going to be for our Haunted Halloween book. I'm surprised they brought that back, but yeah, that's fun. So let's see the special area for a second. Yeah, my god, look at this. How is this even possible? Let's find out. So, Sweet Treat Cottage, unique item. Yeah, so this was from last year. So we got some Halloween stuff here. I'm going to have to look at this on its own. But, um, yeah, so they have a lot of stuff here. Okay. I'm curious to see what exactly they bring with you. If it's actually getting the other characters as well, then maybe it'd be worth it. But yeah, I'm surprised they turned this book into a... So that means it makes it curious to see if they'll actually do the Valentine's Day thing as well. I don't think they will, but the fact they're bringing the Haunted Halloween book in um, intrigues me. <laughs> and uh, if I go back to this... Yeah, so it says complete, but they reset it. So I'm able to... Wait, hold on. So I'm able to do both things? Yeah, I am. Okay. Well, whatever. That's going to be its own separate video, and I'll be talking about that in its own separate way. But yeah, first things first. We see a lot of houses have gotten to the Halloween spirit, as we know. The whole area has been already been into fall for, like, a long, long time. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at the new houses. We've seen the old ones before, right? So they've decided to decorate them. Yep. So there's that. <laughs> Some simple pumpkins. It's nice to see that they actually updated these to have... Yeah, like these characters are getting used to getting into the Halloween spirit. So that's fun. Um... Right, so there's a bunch of stuff here. Now, yeah, so I've seen that before. Just curious if there's, yep, <laughs> her unique house. So I'm trying to see the new stuff here. So there's his. I'm curious to see if, no, okay. So that's why I wanted to make sure. So that's interesting they have different lights here. So that's fun. Yeah, I see those two new characters, or I've seen those characters. Let's see this here. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's the mayor's new house. Interesting. So it seems like they kind of decorated the simplicity. But, um, yeah. I don't think I've moved any other character's house as far as I know. So there's... Yeah, so there's hers. That means I have to go over to Sarde and see if he changed his whole look. I doubt he did, but let's find out. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. They actually designed the um, the actual area. So that's fun. Cool. All right, so that's new. Fun. All right. Let's see this here. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, so they just added some pumpkins there. So, yeah, simplicity, but what can you do? Right. Um, well, before I go in down there, let's find out if there's any new land. I know that's new, and then that was from previously. Oh. We still got the Goosebumps logo. We don't got anything else new, so that's sad. Uh, I believe this is new. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's going to be... Yeah, that's that's a lot more. So that's like the Devil's Tip plus two. So, oh, oof. Oof. That's going to be a lot. Right. So let's go ahead and see what the Promenade has for us. So, man, the Promenade's looking pretty dope. It's looking pretty cool. I like the way that they've designed it. Now I have to wait for it to load in, unfortunately. Also, I see there's, you know what, while I, while I wait for that loading, let's look at the, yeah, so this is the bag of tricks. So we have our currency, golden tooth, mystery box, death mask, haunted skull candy, and some extra storage space. Okay. All right, so it's finally done loading. Okay, so they have it like a graveyard, but, um... Okay, so that's an interesting looking, uh, yeah. All right, so let's, yeah, you know what? Let's go with this for now first. Let's see what we're dealing with. So skull candies, so I'm just going to be interested. Let's just, let's just see what we need. Okay. That's why they're premium. You can craft these on your own, or you can just have them drop them themselves. I see. I see what you're doing here. Man, that's shady. Really shady. So let's see this here. Okay. So in order to get the mystery box, we need to get the death mask. And oh, no. Why you need to bring the gnomes back? Can they just not come back? I know they were like in the Goosebumps movie, but come on. they Their drops suck. Like, I have to watch an ad every three hours just to have them all summon again. And even then, it's now 100% drop, so that sucks. You you couldn't have given me another character that would have given me this easy before. All right, whatever. So, in order to get the skull, the death mask, I need one of these. So, I'll just candy. And uh, I need... Skelly's bracelet, which is another scene character, so. Alright. So we need Skelly for this one in order to get this going here. Now, if you don't have it, you need the boxes for these. I'm going to hate the fact that they're going to be... Yeah, I knew it. So the Book of Treats will need... Okay. So it looks like if you don't get... The two characters. If you don't utilize the bundle here, you basically are going to have a harder time with this. So I'm going to have to go more in depth with this whole event thing. So give me a second on that one. But yeah, so now I'm scared. Okay, let's find out. So this is the new. Yeah, okay. That's a nice looking building. I'm scared. All right, let's see what the drop rates are like. Okay, mm so 15, 20, 25, 30% versus curly 70%. Oh, okay, you're doing this now, all right. 
Oh, okay. Hmm. Man, this is going to be a real interesting crafting 101. Let me put you that way. Oh, dear. This is... Whew. Mmm. That is spicy meatball. Okay. All right. I see. Right. So let's just quickly look at the new characters. So what is needed? So we have... A lot of characters seems like they're very needed. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of them. And the mayor. Okay. And Mrs. Dark, of course. We got the Halloween kids, so that's cool. Sarah has not been introduced in the book, so it seems like she's only going to be available through the Haunted School, it seems like. I'm curious to see what these characters drop. Because that might change things if they actually drop items that you don't need to craft. Because then it's like if you played through that, then you've probably got yourself, you know, a head start. But we'll we'll have to see. Again, I have to research everything before anything else. Yeah, there's our two boys. Cuddles and Trigger, they're certainly changed. And of course, previous characters beforehand are useful. And uh, Zeke is not useful, so let's see what he drops. These are the items he drops after the event. Uh, all of them suck. Wow. Okay. You know, for a character that was like 600-something, you would think that he'd probably drop some cool item, but no. No, not him. He's not He's not that special. Let's see the profile pictures then for... Uh, let's just do Cuddles for now. <laughs> I love the fact that they kind of made Cuddles look like the book as well as what he does in the game. So it says pumpkin seeds and drool treats. So that's interesting. I'm going to assume no animations for them yet, unfortunately. But you know what? They've at least did a rework for them. See trigger. Now that's a good boy. Yeah, same thing there. So, all right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They, the houses changed for them as well. Where is, where is the... Ah, there they are. Yeah, so not a lot of stuff there. Add the pumpkins, and then, of course, we got Tr Trigger's house. Looking interesting. Is there something in... Yeah, there's pumpkins. Okay. Where is Cuddles stuff? Yeah, it's right here. What? What's inside Cuddles? No, I don't want the... No, I don't want the sign either. I hate... Okay. Yeah, there's like a tiny little pumpkin in there. Okay. Right. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about or do before we begin our journey into this new update. So, I think that's about it. Yeah, because I can't think of anything else I need to look at or do beforehand. So, on first glance... It's interesting, but it's also very concerning. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see exactly what will end up happening here. But um, I'm optimistic, let's put it that way. We'll see what happens, and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, wish me luck. Until then, let's go into the Trick or Trap storyline right about now. Trick or Trap. Halloween again. Zombies, ghosts, monsters everywhere. Without a doubt, this is the best holiday. Am I right? Today we... Oh, I, I don't know. Sorry, I'm tired of this. That jack-o'-lantern guy? Seriously? I'm bored. I can do better than those monsters. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. My bones are getting old in this hole. I'll show you all. Maybe this is my holiday. It's death's favorite day. And I have to live my death, you know? I can't do that if I'm always telling someone else's stories. All right, I'm doing it. I'm going out. I just need to get out of this old crypt. Yoo-hoo, drool. Come here, boy. Want a bone, boy? You can come get it. Dig, Drool. Dig. I'm down here. Come, come, come. My master's calling me? Wait for me, master. Fast as a cheetah, strong as an elephant, slimy as a snail. Your Drool is coming. 
expand the promenade, assign the trick-or-treating for both Lu Lucy and Dustin. What an interesting voice I gave to good old uh, Jerul. I hope uh, you like it. Uh, he's, he's not going to be the only original one I'm going to have to do, so oh boy, I'm going to have to decide on that. Yeah, controversy starts now. A guy who's supposed to be the main feature is unique and he's only behind a big paywall. I can see why people weren't so happy about this. And in Crafting 101, you can see why. Oh boy. But this is one of the new animations they've decided to uh, do for both Lucy to kind of commemorate the fact that we have our skeleton boy coming in as well as his sisters. Yeah, so she actually looks kind of nice. Now we're going to go into looking at Dustin because he is required for this uh, update. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that right now. Now, something interesting I'm going to point out is that it has been a year since that crystal glass has been introduced. And I feel like they might have to update it to be a little bit more better scrolling things because, you know, it's going to get real. Really like a hundred, like almost a hundred characters and still eh. But yeah, now you get to see Dustin. He's a little bit different. He's more face painted. But hey, I like both of them being unique. Uh, I complained this last year when I'm like, oh, why didn't you make on this opportunity to make her be a witch? But it's like, there you go. Now he's different, right? So now we're going to go and show off a bit of these characters or what they do as far as what's useful in the animation drops. But yeah, oh boy. This uh, event uh, certainly, uh, first impressions. Ooh, I don't know how to say about that. And, um, yeah, it's going to be real awkward for the last three parts, especially the review. Mmm. But, yeah, one of the biggest problems with this update is the fact that uh, Curly, being a very uh, big character people want, uh, is uh, take getting the Curly-Beth approach of being locked behind a paywall. And uh, the other characters offered not so much. Uh, there are some saving grace to this update, though, so don't worry. There's not a whole lot to be had, as you probably see my reaction during my this part. But that being said, still, why? <laughs> why did you do this? You had you had the opportunity. This is you know what this feels like. This feels like. You are at your home game. You have all the advantages. You have the best team. You you basically got this in the ball. Like you got this in the the goal, and then you fumbled it, and you 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 messed it up. This is what this felt like, and it hit hard. I'll explain more of this grievances in my review in part four in the final. But this this whole video series is going to be very long. I also wanted to showcase Sam's animation here. I mean, this is going to be something I'm going to show off anyways. But I like the fact that his normal costume is a skeleton. And I figured, hey, look, we got some kids trick-or-treating as skeletons. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Again, I'm dumbfounded with this whole... Uh, <laughs> why? Why did you do this to us? You were the chosen one. <laughs> uh, I will say the story, though, is going to be uh, interesting. And, hey, for those... Uh, this this update... I'll, I'll be honest with you. When this update was going on, it wasn't pleasant. It kind of brought... Reminded me of when the... Um, the vampire one happened because a lot of people I've been seeing negativity people were yelling at each other it was it was getting real toxic and it was one of those things where it's like well screw, I have to log out I have to not bother because you know you have to look out for your own mental health and uh, that is something you don't want to see and I understand people's grievances and again I'll explain more of this in part four and why I think everything was like the same is but oh yeah, and this this is our first official look at the new pictures of um, cuddles and trigger. And um, next part, uh, the next update coming up after this, luckily it fixed some things. But uh, I I won't spoil too much of that because we're focusing on the Halloween spirit, man. We're in October. We're getting to the spooks, right? 
It's it's uh, uh Sunday. De it's it's the day of the dead. Ooh, yay! Whoopee! Skeletons. And especially since uh, I might as well talk about each character's inspiration here. Uh, I'll I guess I'll talk more about the inspirations in their own part coming next. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be. I, I might split them up. I might actually do in part three for the sisters, but. Um, I do like the fact they're all unique, and in part two, you're going to actually see their personalities. And I'm going to say this right now, I don't know why, but this reminded me so much of Ghoul School. The Scooby-Doo um, special uh, that I used to watch when it was Halloween. Yeah, that. This update reminded me so much of that, because the sisters have somewhat of a personality with each character. I don't know why that is. It, it might be the fact that this, uh, spoiler alert, uh, uh, and uh, why why exactly reveal photographs? Why, why do you need this? Like, Okay, he drops currency, but I don't need that. All the other items I need, but that? No. <laughs> Again, part of Crafting 101 explained more of that information. This is more just me talking about my first impressions and... Uh, well, that was, that was a first impression. Um, I will say I'm certainly very happy that I'm starting to do these phone recordings of when these updates come live. Because quite frankly, uh, the way I'm going about this is taking a long time. It's good to see how my mindset was when this update hit, so that way I get the full surprise if I'm happy or not. And uh, <laughs> I say the reaction we got... Uh, with when we first saw the pop-up window to the bundle that cost a lot and saw a curly unique it's like it hit hard it just mm, it it hit hard it was not pleasant and sadly uh, the ha Halloween family pack I guess we're gonna have to look into this because uh, the pop-up window certainly shows these colorful characters and spoiler alert I decided to buckle up and uh, get this because you know me I need to show you everything but yeah uh, that will be it and as I mentioned before back in part zero as you'll see Curly's home is that unique well, I guess I'll talk more about that when we get him in part two but his crypt is simply the same one that was used back in April and uh, yeah I guess you know <laughs> Let's take a break and cool down because the next three videos, let's hope to bring some positivity and make this lemon into lemonade like I did with the Cringe Fest back in February. Because, oh boy, this event certainly brought the worst of people. But I'll show you more of that next time with whatever Goosebumps Hortel gives us. So until then, I'm Grim. And uh, hope you get your bones ready.